just going to remind you how to turn a fraction into a decimal. So if we take the fraction 3 eighths, how do we turn that into a decimal? Well, we think of this in three possible ways, don't we? We can either say it's 3 eighths, or it's 3 out of 8, or it's 3 divided by 8. And it's that third meaning which is going to help us here. We've got 3 divided by 8. Let's topple the fraction over. Remember, so the 3 goes on the right and the 8 on the left. So you've got 3, and you're going to divide it by 8. 3 divided by 8. Because we're going to be dividing by 8, it's helpful to know the 8 times table. Uh, if you know it, all well and good, but if you're a bit um, doubt, doubtful about it, then it might be an idea just to jot down that once 8 is 8, 2 8 is 16, 3 8 is 24, 4 8 is 32, 5 8 is 40, 6 8 is 48, 7 8 is 56, 8 8 is 64, 9 8 is 72, 10 8 is 80, just to remind us if we need to refer to it. Also, because it's a fraction, it's not likely to be a whole number, is it? So let's add a few uh, zeros after a decimal point here. I'll allow myself four zeros after the decimal point. Just extend this a bit. And wherever the decimal point is in the number that you're dividing, you will also have the decimal point in exactly the same place in your answer. So let's put one up there. Okay, let's get going. How many eights are there in three? Well, none, because it hasn't even got as high as eight, once eight is eight. So all three of those are left over. We carry that three in front of this zero. So now we're asking how many eights are there in 30? Well, four eights are 32, that's too many. So three eights are 24. 24, but we needed 30, so 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. There's a remainder of 6. We carry that remainder onto the next figure. How many 8s are there in 60? Well, let's have a look down here. 8 8s are 64, that's too many. 7 8s are 56, that's the nearest we can get. 7 8s are 56. 57, 58, 59, 60. So that's 4 remainder. Carry the 4 on to the next 0. How many 8s are there in 40? Oh, well, look, it's an exact number. 5 8s are exactly 40. So we know the answer is 5. And because there's no remainder, we can stop working things out there. We don't need any more zeros because there's nothing no remainder to carry. So there we are, we've done it. 3 eighths equals 0 0.375.